She says she's the radical future of the Democrat Party, but her past is coming back to haunt her. The left can't stop talking about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The Democratic Socialist made news when she called for the abolition of ICE. The radical stance won her a primary against a long-term Democrat. Now more top Democrats, afraid for their seats have adopted the doomed platform. Ocasio-Cortez calls for strict socialism in our country. She wants to punish the wealthy through heavy taxation. You know, the people who provide jobs for 90% of the country? Her radical stance would cripple our economy, damage our institutions, and send us back into the dark ages. But eagle-eyed patriots have discovered Ocasio-Cortez's dark secret. Apparently, she wasn't so hard on businesses, when she ran her own. Turns out, not that long ago, she was big into tax cuts. From the Western Journal, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the upstart democratic socialist who shocked the political world in the June primary when she defeated 10-term incumbent rep. Joseph Crowley of New York, once advocated for tax cuts when she was running a business of her own, uncovered news reports from 2012 reveal. Ocasio-Cortez appeared to have a different outlook on capitalism and taxes in 2012 when she was running a business of her own. Brook Avenue Press, an incorporated publishing firm for children's books set in the Bronx. As a business owner, she came out in support of a bill that would provide tax deductions for business startup costs, arguing that taxes directly impacted her business profits. You don't really make a profit in your first year. Ocasio-Cortez told the now-defunct DNA Info when she was 22. To get taxed on top of that is a real whammy. I guess when Ocasio-Cortez's business flopped, she did what most losers do, became a liberal. Now, after once hating on taxes, she wants to ruin other people's chance at success. Heavy taxes and greater government interference will ruin our economy. Businesses cannot thrive when the government punishes them for just doing what they do. Jobs will evaporate. The wealth of the country will end up in the hands of the corrupt politicians. Not sure why Ocasio-Cortez thinks that's so much better than lower taxes and opportunity. Perhaps it's because, if she's elected, she'll get all that sweet tax income. Big surprise liberals love higher taxes. They are the ones, after all, raking in all the cash. Democrats also get to set their own pay. Oh, no conflict of interest there. Ocasio-Cortez is just another flip-flopper who wants to punish people who are actually doing well. In the end, she's no different than the rest of the liberal party.